I'm Tom Michaud, I'm a chiropractor in Newton, Massachusetts, and I have been in this office now for almost 40 years. Um, and I've been working with elite and recreational athletes for a long time, and I just retired yesterday, which is pretty interesting. It was hard saying goodbye to so many people, but I, I think I've done 160,000 treatments in this office over the last 40 years, and I'm really looking forward to the next stage. What keeps me going in this profession is curiosity. And this profession, how the human body functions, it's the most complicated job and the most rewarding job at the same time. I originally specialized in foot ankle injuries. It kind of played a big role in me treating so many runners, but because I worked in the orthotic laboratory, I knew everything about lower extremity biomechanics very early on. And because of it, runners get foot ankle injuries, runners get lower extremity injuries. I was really good at making orthotics. I, I developed a specialty in foot ankle that then kind of evolved. Now I do everything, you know, shoulders, necks. I wrote an article on vertebral artery dissection. I wrote an article on clinical biomechanics of the shoulder. But I would still say that I have a specialty in lower extremity, specifically in, in the treatment of runners. Tecla wearing number One of the runners who ran, she came in second place in the 96th, the 100th running of the Boston Marathon, Tegla Larupe, she's from Kenya, and one of the nicest people I've ever met. I treated her, she did well, um, and then the next year she got a spinal fracture after she ran the New York Marathon. Um, an orthopedist down there put her in a brace that ended up being not the greatest brace that damaged her lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, and she ended up having some nerve problems with it. She was frightened. and. The quality of care, especially then for musculoskeletal injuries, was just terrible. I mean, you put them in a brace and cross your fingers and hope they get better. So with her, she called me up and asked if she could come to town uh, and let me treat her. And I treated her every day for around five weeks, six weeks. And she had accepted appearance money to run in the Rotterdam Marathon uh, that year. And she went and set the world record there. And then she set another world record, breaking her own record in Berlin. It's the best feeling in the world. I want people to look back and look at some of the things I've written, some of the stuff I've done, and say, that guy read a lot and he, he cared about people. I put a lot of time in, not, I didn't even look at it as a lot of time, I put 4,000 hours into writing human locomotion and it, it seemed like two minutes. I did it because I find this stuff fascinating. My wife has played a giant role in everything we've done. There's 400 illustrations in human locomotion. I do the illustrations in pen and ink. She imports them into her computer. She does the coloring on them. She fixes all of my mistakes. Then she page sets them in InDesign. Then she turns it into a book. And having someone to support me and, and help on all different aspects of running both the practice and the second business has been essential. For, I, could, I could not have done it on my own, without a doubt. It's a puzzle trying to understand how to get people better. You know, 40 years of treating people, you get to know what works. And I take the stuff I read, and I apply it in the treatment rooms, and then I see what works. And that's what I love about this. And that's what I'm gonna spend the next few years doing coming up with treatment protocols, interventions to help people.